Masimu Herbert and we're going to deal with a negative binomial distribution. And in today's short video, we are going to only look at the mean and the variance of the negative binomial distribution. So be blessed as you watch. There, yeah. we are going to start with the mean. And you know that our mean, EX, is given by the summation from x equals 0 and it goes up to infinity of x and the probability function which is r plus x minus 1 chooses x p to the power r 1 minus p to the power x so we are going to deal with this term only this term so we have our x uh, r plus x minus 1 chooses x and this is x r plus x minus 1 factorial over x factorial or minus 1 factorial and our x factorial it is x x minus 1 factorial and our r factorial is r r minus 1 factorial that means my r minus 1 factorial it is r factorial over r if i make this the subject that means this is x r plus x minus 1 over. So x factorial is this, which is x, x minus 1 factorial. And my r factorial is here, which is r factorial over r. You see this is going with this. And finally, if I divide this, it will be r, r plus x minus 1 factorial. Don't forget to have factorial here. Over x minus 1 factorial r factorial and if you observe this is r r plus x minus 1 chooses x minus 1 combination so the whole of this term is this that means my mean of x is going to be now the whole of this term is here which is r r plus x minus 1 chooses x minus 1 p to the power r 1 minus p the power x so this is from x equals to 1 up to infinity so we see this is a constant we are going to pull it out so it is r combination from x equals 1 up to infinity r plus x minus 1 x minus 1 p to the power r 1 minus p to the power x so we are going to try to change this into probability mass function of this and know that it is always equal to 1. So here, you may have your y, which is x minus 1, and maybe q, r plus 1. This implies that your x here, it is y plus 1, and your r here, it is q minus 1, which implies that my r plus x minus 1 is equal to uh, my r, which is q minus 1, plus my x which is y plus 1 minus 1 this and this go we start with q plus y minus 1 so if i bring it here so this is going to be q plus y minus 1 and then this x minus 1 it is y so here I begin from y equals 0 up to infinity then p then my r is q minus 1 then 1 minus p and my x is y plus 1. Uh, we have an r here. So r, this, from y equals 0 up to infinity. q plus y minus 1 chooses y. So this, you can break it to q, to p power q times p, power negative 1. You also break this to power y. Then 1 minus p, the power 1. So this and this, they come out because they are constant. So it is r, 1 minus p. Then I can say over p, which is p power negative 1. Summation from y equals 0 up to infinity. q plus y minus 1, chooses y. Mm, p to the power q, 1 minus p to the power y whereby this one it is like our mass function and it gives us a one that means my mean 
is r1 minus p over p so this marks the end of the mean uh, now the variance uh, we know that our variance it is always e x squared minus e of x the mean squared this is the same as e x squared minus x plus x minus e of x squared this will give me e of x x minus 1 plus e of x minus e of x squared so here this is the mean and you have got it so our work is to find this so our e x x minus 1 uh, it is going to be equaling to the summation from our x is 0 up to infinity x x minus 1 then we are dealing with the same function this is r plus x minus 1 so this is x we have p r 1 minus p to the power x mm. from here so we are going to deal with this that means my x x minus 1 r plus x minus 1 chooses x it's going to be x x minus 1 r plus x minus 1 factorial over x factorial r minus 1 factorial so from here we know that uh, x factorial is equal to x x minus 1 x minus 2 at this point we shall end at x minus 2 then this r minus 1 we are going to get it to uh, we are going to get it from r plus 1 which will be r mm, r plus 1 r and r minus 1 factorial now uh, that means my my r r minus 1 mm, it is factorial it is the same as r plus 1 uh, over r plus 1 r uh, so we have our x x minus 1 this is r plus x minus 1 so our x factorial is x x minus 1 x minus 2 factorial then our r minus 1 this is r plus 1 over r plus 1 r we don't forget the factorial here so we have a factorial here we also have a factorial here so this is going with this this is going with this so this is the same as r r plus 1 r plus x minus 1 factorial and my factorial here over x minus 2 factorial r plus 1 factorial so critically this is the same as r r plus 1 this is r plus x minus 1 to this x minus 2 so we come this is e x x minus 1 it is the same as the combination the whole of this term is this r r plus 1 r plus 1 minus 1 to the x minus 2 p to the power r 1 minus p to the power x this is from x is equal to 2 up to infinity we pull this out this is r r plus 1 mm. summation x is equal to 2 up to infinity r plus x minus 1 x minus 2 mm. p r 1 minus p x so we let again this is always our y x minus 2 and means your x is y plus 2 and maybe q is r plus 2 and means your r it is q minus 2 so that means my r r plus 1 summation so from here our r plus x minus 1 it will give us r which is q minus 2 plus x which is y plus 2 
minus 1. See this and this goes. Start with q plus y minus 1. So this is q plus y minus 1, this term. Then our x minus 2, which is here, this is y. Then p, r, it is q minus 2. Then 1 minus p. And then my x is y plus 2. This is from y is equal to 0 up to infinity. So this is r, r plus 1. Summation y is equal to 0 up to infinity. Q plus y minus 1 chooses y. So this is the same as p to the power q, p to the power negative 2. This is 1 minus p to the power y, 1 minus p squared. So this and this are going out. So we start with r, r plus 1. Mm, then we have 1 minus p squared. So this is a negative 2, I'll say, over p. Then summation y is equal to 0 infinity q plus y minus 1 chooses y uh, p to the power q 1 minus p to the power y and this which is the mass function is and it is giving us a 1 but don't remember this is our e of x x minus 1 which is giving us r r plus 1 1 minus p squared over P. Uh, uh, so this is our p negative 2 so we shall have p squared even here we have p squared uh, so our variance um, it is e x x minus 1 plus e of x minus e of x squared uh, so this, uh, we got it here, and it is R, R, R plus 1, minus P. Uh, so this squared, it is supposed to be outside, outside here, because it is out. Uh, so our variance is this, E of this plus mean over mean squared. So we get this plus the mean we got, then we square. So here, you can remove, remove the common terms. We have 1 minus p. Uh, we have r. Then we have p. So into bracket, here we stay with the, with the 1 minus p. Uh, r plus 1 over p plus 1. Plus here we have r. 1 minus p over p so this is r1 minus p over p uh, we have our lcm as p so this is going to be 1 minus p uh, r plus 1 plus p plus r into 1 minus p and you can bring the p outside we stay with 1 r 1 minus p over p squared so this is r mm, plus 1 minus r p plus c p plus p minus r. <coughs> So we have here r plus 1 minus r p minus p plus p minus r minus p uh, plus so mm -hmm. So you have R plus 1 minus R P minus P plus P plus R minus R P. So this goes with this, this goes with this. Uh, what else? So we start with R 1 minus P over P squared. Uh, sorry, we had a minus here. That means this is a minus. That means this is a minus. So we have a minus here. So it is going to be minus R uh, plus R P. So this R will go with this. The R P will go with the R P. And the P will go with the P. And we stay with the 1. So into brackets 1. 
that means my variance will be r1 minus p over p squared uh, uh, it's been a similar habit thank you for watching god bless you